so I'm starting to uh, get back into grinding. I had, I've gotten back on the uh, Shopsmith pulley project, and I was having no luck getting any kind of finish on the uh, aluminum I was using with um, carbide blades. I was having good luck with this blade, I mean, this high speed steel bit. Um, but what I found is like, you know, when you have to get into here, I need a, I need a pointier point basically. So I'm going to come back on this angle here a bit. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to be able to get up and go bloop, 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 like that. And uh, so. Alright, so there you go. Slightly more acute. So we'll see how this works. That's just uh, 10 thousandths total, so 5 thousandths a side. I'll bump it up next fast. Looks like a really nice finish. I'm going to go for 20,000 this time. 10,000 aside. it up real quick before I make the next trip. 
I go in for thirty thousandths this time. It's thirty thousand total. Too bad. This practice makes perfect. My uh, sharpening is definitely getting better. This is how far I got with the pulley project so far because uh, the reason I had to stop here is um, just because of me screwing up uh, this um, slug here was spinning on my taper that I made. Uh, either I didn't make it wide enough at this end or else it's just because, uh, you know, when I was um, trying to use the parting tool, I wasn't that good at it <laughs> and I you know caught it and put too much pressure on it so that it actually slipped out and I probably reamed this hole out a little larger than uh, spec but I mean I think it'll be okay for its purpose um, uh, anyway so I could make another slightly larger uh, spindle taper tapered spindle uh, but what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm this thing has to be uh, keyed anyway uh, and I have a brooch set, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and put a slot in this guy and brooch this guy, brooch the slug, um, and work with it that way until I am uh, ready to, you know, basically finish it up. Uh, these uh, jaw marks aren't going to be a problem because I did leave a little extra width here so I could clean it up later. But it's it's a 432 pulley. <laughs> it's been quite a project for me. I mean, I, I, I'm i sure a bomb could whip one of these out in, you know, an hour. He could have gotten this far in about 10 minutes. But uh, it's uh, for me and, you know, my experience level and my little lathe, uh, this is uh, actually taking me quite a while to get here. Every, every step of it always requires me, you know, making some other tool or adjusting what I got or whatever. So, that's the way it goes. It's fun, right? So this has turned into one of those one thing leads to another projects. Uh, some time ago, I knew I was going to need to do some broaching because I wanted to do some gear making and then I was making this pulley. Uh, so I went out and I bought the on eBay. You know, like the biggest set I could find and afford. And I got this Do More Number 20 combination set. So I figured, all right, this is going to have anything I could possibly come up with. Uh,
gives you kind of an idea how this thing works. Not too shabby from this side. Needs a little cleanup back here. This uh, bushing is not long enough to go all the way through. I wonder if it had been, if it would have done a better job on the where it tore out. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Okay, sort of ready to go back on the lathe again. The reason I've got that piece of keystock glued in there is that is not exactly the right size. It's a little teeny smaller. I'm not even sure it's keystock. It's something that was just laying around. Um, thought it was keystock, but then uh, took out the calipers and said, oh, no, it's not. Anyway, that may be good enough for me, for my purposes right now, but I obviously need a real piece of. Uh, Keystock when I mount this thing uh, on the machine it belongs on. But I think that'll keep it goes all the way through, by the way. Um, you know, it'll definitely keep this thing from turning on the, uh, the arbor. So I think, uh, I think I'm in good shape to proceed right now. <laughs> 